We continue. Williams. Mooney. Dodd. And a flick on now for McEvitt. Into the corner. Malone's in the middle. McEvitt beats one. McEvitt takes on the shot herself and it's in. And it's Katie Malone who has broken the deadlock with a very close range header. A wonderful run outright from Sarah McEvitt. That's 1-0 DLR Waves. And Avian Clancy is going to send another one now into the DLR Waves box as they looked at. Equalise. It's the near post and I think it's off Nicholas Sinnott. She'll claim it and we have our equaliser. Hefty collision there. It's a straight red is the decision. No longer do they have all this time to pick their passes and think about their options. Ellen Malloy puts on the afterburners. She's been tripped there by Eve Padana. And is Eve Padana potentially in some trouble here? The referee's going to have a think about it. He's gone to the pocket once again, and Eve Badana is off. And I think that one is more clear cut, if anything. We have a second red card, and this is potentially lethal. Let's see if Clancy's deliveries can deliver another goal. Into the near post, it's off Claire. And Corrigan can complete the clearance. Out to Roster, back into the mix. Malloy tries the first time flick, and it's in! <laughs> and what about that? Kira Roster is calling for it out left because dealer ways are short of numbers at the back. Here comes Kira Roster, just leaves it behind her that time. Back to Murphy. And now you see there is so much time and space because Dealer Waves have committed players forward. So much space for Watkins to run into. She can run straight at goal if she wants. Takes on the strike. Watkins will paddle away to Kira Roster. And that will seal it. Kira Roster with the finish. Played over the top for Doherty. Demange. It's come to Clare and that's the last touch of the game. We have our final score here at Ferry Carrick Park. And for the last time today, I want to give credit to DLR Waves. It was a huge, huge task when Mia Dodd.